In this video, Kevin from Bounties is going to show you how you can utilize this new feature within Google Tag Manager called Templates. All and more coming up. Hey there, Magic Geeks, Julian here, back with another video for you. Today, we want to talk about Google Tag Manager templates, which is a new addition to Google Tag Manager and a pretty big one because it extends Google Tag Manager in so many different ways. So I asked my friend Kevin Haag from Bounties to come on the channel to talk about Google Tag Manager templates because he has written a very extensive blog post on Bounties.com. Now, I must admit, Bounties is one of my go-to resources when it comes to Google Tag Manager. When I got started with Google Tag Manager, I read their blog incessantly and I also got a lot of inspiration to make these videos. So big shout out to Bounties. If you haven't checked them out yet, please have a look in the description down below where we have them linked up as well. But back to Google Tag Manager templates because we got lots to cover. So Kevin, take it away. Thanks, Julian. And hi, everybody. My name is Kevin Haag, and I am an analytics tech lead at Bounties. Today, we'll walk through the recently introduced feature in Google Tag Manager, the custom templates. Before we get started, let's take a look what templates are currently available in GTM. Once you create a new tag in GTM, you have a variety of tag types to choose from. Google Tag Manager has long supported the three native tag types featured, for Google tools like Google Analytics or Google Ads. Custom, the tag type for inserting your marketing pixel if there are no supported templates in GTM, and more. In this category, you'll find third-party tags from approved vendors. While we may have many different vendors in here, you'll notice we don't have a tag type for all the MarTech solutions out there in this list. For instance, I don't see a template for Facebook, or for Salesforce Parlet, for example. Even for some tags that we have in here, like this LinkedIn Insight tag, there may be limits for how we can use it. Well, what do you do when the tag you want is not available? In the old days, you'd go ahead, you'd copy the code, and you would either paste it into a custom HTML tag, or you would paste the URL into a custom, custom image tag. This introduces extra complexity and actually adds risk to your site. But now there's a better way. In May 2019, GTM introduced custom templates. These are standardized templates built by the community and MarTech companies and introduce a more rigid and secure way of tracking than just pasting the code into the custom HTML tag. In the past, Boundias and others have created recipes or importable solutions to common tracking problems. Custom templates are more official, encourage best practices, and we're thrilled about what this means for the GTM users. First off, anyone can create a custom template, either for a variable or for a tag, just by clicking New. I won't go into much detail today about creating a custom template. But if you're interested, I wrote a blog post talking about the full building process on the Bounties blog. The link to the post is available in the video description. However, most GTM users won't need to create their own templates. The biggest benefit to GTM users will likely come in using and sharing templates that others have created. So let's look at that process. Take the LinkedIn Insight tag that I mentioned earlier. If you're running any sort of LinkedIn campaign to drive traffic to your site, you'll want to make sure you're able to measure how they're performing. In GTM, we already have the site-wide insight tag that fires on every page and enables you to define URL-based conversions. But when there is no unique URL, you have to fire an event-specific pixel. To make this easier, we created a custom template for you. Keep in mind, that this is a template built by Bounties, and not an official template from the LinkedIn Corporation. You can get a template from anywhere. Someone can email it to you, you can download it on a blog, or in this case, you can get it from the current best option, gtmtemplates.com. This site is a community-supported portal created by Simo Ahava and David Vallejo. We'll put the link to this site into the video description as well. In here, You'll find templates for Facebook, 
Yandex Metrica, LinkedIn, or Pardot. And I'm really excited to see what else gets created in the future. Now let's go back to my LinkedIn example from earlier. On the detail page, with one click, we can easily download the .tpl file, which is our template file. Now the file is downloaded. Let's go back into Google Tag Manager. To import our custom LinkedIn template, let's open the contextual menu and import the .tpl file. Now, we can either test our template by using the preview mode, or we can save it right away. In this video, we won't go over the underlying code and the template creation process as mentioned earlier. So let's hit save for now. The LinkedIn event tag is now part of your available Google Tag Manager tag types. Let's verify that. Go to tags. Let's create a new tag. And you'll find your template under the custom section. Let's use our custom template to build our first LinkedIn tag. Let's fire this LinkedIn tag on a form submit. I have to insert two values here, the partner ID and the conversion ID. You'll find both values in the LinkedIn campaign manager. To make my life easier, I store the partner ID in a custom GTM variable. So I don't have to copy and paste the same code over and over again. For the conversion ID, for now, let's assign a random string, like one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's choose the appropriate trigger. I already created a form submit trigger. So let's apply that to the tag and save our LinkedIn event tag. Now, we are almost ready to go. As always, make sure you QA your tag before you publish. As you can see, most users will benefit from using templates that others have created and shared. They are less risky and more user-friendly than pasting in custom HTML. I encourage you to explore the galleries of options and to leverage custom templates also in your GTM container. If you're interested in creating your own or want to know more, check out the posts I've shared earlier and make sure to read Simo's comprehensive guide. Both are linked in the video description. Lastly. Thanks to all the companies and individuals that have contributed so far. I can't wait to see how custom templates evolve. Now back to you, Julian. All right, so there you have it. These are Google Tag Manager templates. Thank you, Kevin from Bounties. Please check out his blog post down below where he has much more details about templates. And if you want to build your own templates, then you probably need to know a little bit of JavaScript and you need to be a developer probably already because it's not that easy to figure out. But Kevin has written everything up in his blog post down below. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Will you utilize Google Tag Manager templates or will you just keep on with your custom HTML tag? Let us learn together in the comments down below. And if you like this video, why not give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel right over there because we bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.